time. So it's day 35 in the morning. Um, okay, so today we're going into the sun sphere on the astral plane. That's going to connect with the crown of the head on the physical plane. Now, these last three days, well, yesterday and the day before and today, um, kind of all been dealing with these three spheres, like this superb triad on the physical plane, but we're dealing with like the top part of the astral plane in the astral world. The astral world in the astral tree. Um, yeah, anyway, so what I wanted to draw attention to is the pathways. Now, the pathway from Mercury to Venus is the Tower, and another name for the Tower is the House of God, and the ruler of this card is Mars. Now, when you go from Mercury up to the Sun Sphere, the, Cap the card is um, the Devil, which is the card for Capricorn, and in astrology, Mars is exalted in Capricorn, just giving a place of honour. And then on the other side, um, from the Venus sphere going up to the Sun sphere, you've got the card of death, which is um, the card of Scorpio and transformation. And Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Right, so there's a lot of Mars influence going on. And not only that, in um, the chakra system, uh, Alice Bailey, at least, gives Mars the rulership over the solar plexus chakra, which is you know, a large part of that. And of course, when we go up into the heart chakra area on the, the tree, on the physical plane here, on, it, um, it governs, you've got the Sun, uh, Mars and Jupiter, so you've got again Mars here and here. And of course, after these three days, like after today, we're going into the sphere of Mars tomorrow. Again, this time on the astral plane. Um, so there's a lot of Mars stuff going on. And Mars is, is obviously the, uh, the planet associated with the sphere of severity. So there's a certain amount of severity that you might have noticed, or I've noticed anyway, dealing with all this stuff. Um, and you know, connecting with this, the uh, moving from the astral plane up into the mental plane. Um, so Mars acts like a kind of guardian, a guard, you know, between uh, the eternal energies, like if, if you were eternity, Venus body, and the mundane sort of mercurial, mercurial reasoning mind. Hence, house of God. You know. It's like I mean, the lightning struck tower, the blasted tower. You know, <laughs> and it's all these sort of like attacks and that, and having to turn it all around and deal with all this kind of crap, <coughs> and being humbled and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll get on to another video later. I think, but. This um, is now going into this the sun sphere on the astral plane, but it's the crown, the top part of the, uh, the physical plane tree. It's also the beginning of the mental plane tree. And we're, so at, from now on, after today, we're going to be also dealing with the, the, the proper mental aspect. Now, when you start dealing with this mental aspect and this crown chakra, uh, we're going into the mental plane. It will, you have to think first of all there's three different levels you're looking at. One is the, the crown chakra, the top part of the physical tree, the centre part of the astral tree, and the beginning part of the mental tree. Uh, when you get into the mental plane tree, uh, that's like when we're going into the daytime. We're going out the underworld, out of the nighttime, and into the daytime. And it's when the sun really starts to shine and the light starts coming down. The water should come down. It's going to be a bit like a flood. <laughs> <laughs> Once we've got rid of all this astral plane stuff and taken it over and got rid of it, 
and the, all the waters of heaven from sort of coming down to earth. Uh, and that's going to make a lot of difference into our territory and stuff. You know? uh, we'll start to see real tangible differences in that, I imagine. Um, yeah, so there's something to bear in mind, just a little um, kind of taste of today. I'm fasting today, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun for me because I haven't really fasted for, um, not, not deliberately before.